How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are here with Royals episode 11. If you guys are excited about the episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know what you guys thought about today's episode. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through the entire off season. A lot of you guys always wonder what I do or how I approach off seasons for my rebuilds. So this is how we're going to, this is how we're going to approach this video. I'm going to show you guys how I do my off seasons. So in the last video, we had a poll. Should we sign Billy Hamilton? Should we sign Dallas Keuchel? Should we sign both? Should we let both go? And you guys voted both. And the thing is, Billy Hamilton is probably going to be one of the best center fielders, if not the best center fielder in free agency. But for 13 million, I don't know if I want to just rely on a player who's got speed and good fielding. You know, hitting wise, he did have his best season since what, 2016? like all around uh, he, he basically had like a career year actually but for me i don't know if i want to invest you know 13 million plus um for a center fielder when we have jason dominguez coming up um maybe within a season or two so it's kind of difficult for me to say hey let's invest in him for the long term um maybe there's another option of free agency we could do Dallas Keuchel, though, for a year, I'd be okay with him coming back because he'd be the top pitcher. We have Jake Junis, we have Keller, we have Duffy, and then the fifth spot would be Han, Phil Meyer, Lively, which isn't bad. You know, that shows that we still have some depth in the pitching. We also have Brady Singer. Um, we have a couple other names down there who are developing as well. So Keuchel for one more season would allow those younger pitchers to kind of fight for that fifth spot and develop. So maybe later on in the season. We could use one of them. We could trade a different pitcher. Um, just, you know, it leaves us options in the starting rotation. So one year, six million. I'm okay with that kind of deal. Jake Deepman's going to be one of the better left-handers in free agency. Um, plus, we we need kind of a setup guy that is left-handed. So for, again, another year, I'm not going to freak out about it, especially if we can get him for around three million. Next up, you know, the rest of the guys, I'm not really too interested in. Brad Boxberger, he did do well but I'd rather find somebody else that's a little bit more just I have, I have more confidence in as a closer. So Boxberger, Bailey, Duda, and Billy Hamilton are all going to, they're going to walk. So let's get into it. Let's get into actual free agency. So free agency, you guys can see each star is like a different stage of free agency. Make sure you check free agency on each stage because there are different players who become free agents at those points. Sometimes they don't agree to contracts and then they get added to the free agency pool. So every stage, there could be a new player that's added to free agency that you could sign that you guys need for um, your team. So looking at the 40 man, Schwindel, Lively, and Phil Meyer are all players I wanna add to my 40 man because I don't want them taken away during the rule five draft. So I'm gonna add them to the 40 man. Looking at arbitration, really when I do this, I'm looking for players who I think are going to play in the next season. So Chesler and Peralta, I don't really see them coming into the team next season. So I'm going to let them, I'm just going to not offer them arbitration. The other ones though, I'm going to offer arbitration to do not make an offer. Always offer arbitration because it's cheaper than giving them like an actual contract. So this part, this is kind of where it's like you kind of choose if you really want to invest in a player. So like Mondesi. I definitely want him to be my starting shortstop. Um, so if I can get him for three years, I'm definitely going to offer him a three-year deal. Um, so I'm going to do three years, 13 million. It's not a bad deal. So players like that, I do want to offer contracts to. Basically, everybody you've seen so far up here, I'm cool with offering a contract. A player who I wouldn't offer a contract to is D Potential, 67 overall, and he's 30 years old. Andrew Sussick, I'm probably going to let walk. He's not a player I'm really interested in. Um, there's going to be another one down here. Um, I think that runs out like his contract runs out. Um, let me find him. Um, uh, like Terrence Gore, I may not offer a contract to, and then maybe Jake Newberry, but I probably will just because he's got B potential. But Sussex is like the type of player I would avoid. And I would try to bring in a player who has like a contract, like like this one year 70,000 you know mid 70s overall C or higher potential that's kind of the thing we're looking for here all right so free agency 
what I do is I take a look at kind of what we're missing. So Boxberger is no longer here. So we do need a closing pitcher. So we brought back Deekman. We have Edwards Jr. who are, they're both going to be kind of our, our setup guys. So we could probably use one more middle relief guy um, who probably is going to be Flynn. So actually we're set. And then we just need, we need that closer. Our starting rotation is fine. And then when I look at our lineup, um, we do have Brett Phillips who's going to take over at left field maybe. We could always move Solaire there, let Brett Phillips be our platoon outfielder. We do need a center fielder, and then we also need a DH. So a center fielder, a left fielder, and a DH. Or um, we let, yeah, so basically we need an outfielder. We need two outfielders and a DH, right? So that's kind of what we're looking for. Starting rotation, we don't really need. So Garrett Cole, Mad Bum, not really players I'd be interested in. Relief pitching. Betances could be a closer for us, um, but a player I like a lot. We have Craig Kimbrell here. We got Vizcaino, who's not too bad, but Will Smith is a lockdown closer. He's definitely a player I'd be comfortable you know, offering a five-year, six-year deal for because he always performs very, very well. He's 90 overall, eight potential, could be a good pickup. Same with Kimbrell, very solid. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with... Um, Smith, we're going to offer him a three year deal and we're going to go with the player option. So, if he wants to take that player option, we'll see what he does. So, that's what we're going to do. If we didn't have prospects coming in from the draft that were closing pitchers, Garrett Borden would be a player I'd pick up because he's got B potential, 65 overall, and he's still young. Next up, catchers. We probably do need a backup catcher. Um, Maldonado's okay, but I'm not really looking at him. Um, maybe like a Lucroy, a little bit better hitting. Um, that could be an option for a cheap deal since we do need that backup, maybe like four and a half million. Not too bad. Decent little backup. Next up, when we look at, hmm, actually we'd have to give up a pick for him. So I'm going to withdraw that. If it's a qualified off, if they have qualified under the name, you will lose a draft pick if you sign them. So that might be a player we, we pass on Diego Zambrano's option because he's 73 overall. He's young. So he's definitely a player I'd be kind of cool picking up just in case he turns into a B potential good catcher. So we do need a backup first baseman. I know we have O'Hearn, we have Swindle, but maybe like a, a DH. We did have Duda, but these guys are kind of aging. I don't really trust the fact that they, they may not be good. Like Jed Jerko, he could be good. He could be a backup, like a DH for us. Edwin is 37. You guys can see he's decreasing, so he's not a player I'm interested in. So I think Jerko would be a player I'd look into for possibly being a DH if necessary. Um, second base, we're good. We got Merrifield. We also have Nicky Lopez. Third base could be a player, uh, area we look to improve on. We have Gutierrez. We have Dozier. But Rendon would be a really good option to bring in. But you're looking at a big contract who would take away from future free agency or trade options. Shortstop, we're good. We have Bobby Wood Jr., who is now our second highest rated shortstop. And we have Mondesi. So... That's a possibility. Osuna is an interesting player. We do need that outfielder. You could do like a what? A two, three year deal. He's going to be better than a 238 hitter. And that really gives you that, that solid bat, a decent fielder. And it gives you a good outfielder. So that could be an option. Billy Hamilton is the best center fielder. But, you know, I'd prefer paying Osuna what Billy Hamilton wants. So we could pass up. And then Solaire probably going to stay in right so ozuna i'm i'm interested in maybe a three-year 35 million dollar deal we'll chuck it up there see what he, see what happens so that's kind of our big contract right there so we got smith ozuna and zambrano so far for free agency all righty so we got will smith that's a good start we got him unfortunately we didn't get ozuna four years 50 million i just wasn't happy paying that kind of money which is okay. Um, it's it's not a it's not a big deal. Um, we will need another outfielder. Let's see if Billy Hamilton three years thirty seven. That's a big contract. I would rather trade for somebody, especially with you know we do have some prospects we could move. Um, and I'm also gonna wait to the different stages of free agency to see if anybody else becomes available. So we're at almost december and you can see we've passed a couple stages of free agency already and there's a player that i did end up signing 
um, Jonathan Lucroy for a deal that qualified situation passed. So we didn't have to give him a uh, draft pick if we ended up signing him. And another player who we need a DH, right? Tyler Austin fits that role really well. We can also stick him in left field. We could stick him in right field. He didn't hit the ball very well last year, but he's got power and it kind of fits that, that DH role pretty well. I'm looking at other options. Michael Franco's a, a, definitely a possibility. He probably wants what? Maybe about four a year, three a year. We could probably get away with. And I'm looking at other options here. Ooh. He's not the best hitter, but just in terms of getting a good middle infielder, it's not, that's not a bad like pickup. Um, Looking at other options, we do need that platoon outfielder. Brian Goodwin could either start in center field for us or be that platoon outfielder. So you know what? It's not a bad little like one year, three mil. We'll start there. And then Tyler Austin's another player who could help us out. Alrighty, so as you can see, Tyler Austin signed a two-year, $3 million deal. Not bad at all. Brian Goodwin, who actually was with the Royals prior to being cut by them for Lucas Duda, I think it was this season. So he signed a one-year, $3 million deal. So we kind of have a potential center fielder. Um, Tyler Austin could be our DH. He could also be our um, left fielder, if need be. So we'll just start with this to kind of give us an idea and then we'll we'll kind of build on it from there. So um, you guys can see we still need that left fielder. So Tyler Austin could fill that spot. Um, Brett Phillips could fill that spot. So we're still going to wait. We may make a trade and that may be where you guys come into play. Alrighty, so to end today's episode, we're going to end it off with a trade. Do we make this trade? So we kind of have that backup first baseman with Tyler Austin, who can also kind of be a platoon outfielder. And we also need maybe a new third baseman because Hunter Dozier just really struggled last season. Ryan O'Hearn really struggled last season. So do we do Ryan O'Hearn, Hunter Dozier for Miguel and Duhar? Yes or no. In the top right hand corner, there's going to be a little eye icon that pops up. Yes, we make the trade for Miguel and Duhar or no, we do not make the trade. So this is where you guys get involved. And uh, that would give us that new third baseman. And uh, it, would, it would make the lineup a little bit scarier. You know, Miguel Andujar has definitely got some pop off the bat. Not the best fielder, but definitely a good player to look forward to for the future. That would make the third base spot a lot better. You know, we've already made first base a lot better. Shortstop's solid. Second base is solid. We got good catcher in Salvador Perez. I just think the, the outfield then would be the next step to really make this lineup scary. So let me know, do we make that trade for Miguel Andujar? That would trade away O'Hearn and Hunter Dozier. Let me know in the poll. So that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I know there wasn't any gameplay. It may seem kind of long, but that's kind of my approach to an offseason. That's how I kind of look at things and see how things go. So hope you guys appreciated it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. And always, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.